Hi, in this video we are going to show you how you can do some basic operations uh, using the Uni XML RPC API and using Python. In this case we have a Uni server where we have uh, two clients registered and we can see here the VM monitors, the three instances we are using here for this test and uh, first thing to do is to go to the Python shell. Here we are, and now we need to import the XML RPC API, sorry, XML RPC library for managing the XML RPC API from the unit. Once we have it import, which is uh, this library is included in the standard library of Python, we can then uh, instantiate this client, which is basically pointing to the um, HTTPS FQDN of our Uni server slash RPC slash API, where our uh, Uni XML RPC API is exposed. We have this verbose attribute in case that we want to get the bugging uh, information. Okay, next thing is to authenticate. We need to get an access key. So this is done by client out login and passing, of course, the user credentials. We have now the key. Great. And for now on, we will need to pass this access token to the different endpoints that we are targeting here via XMRPC API. So which uh, endpoints, are, endpoints are available? Let's take a look at the documentation. If you go to the API overview, it will point you to the SSM manager uh, documentation and there is a PDF where the API is basically described. You see that here we have all the different namespaces with all different name uh, end, yeah, endpoints. And of course, we have documentation for each one. So you see the parameters, the return values, etc. Okay, in this case, for this uh, First operations, let's just do system.listSystem. We need to pass the key and we get this output. Let's just use pretty print here to see the output in a more fancy way. Okay, from import, import pre print, yeah. Uh, let's just see it like this. System.listSystem key. Okay, as you can see, this is basically a list and a diction a containing dictionaries uh, for each one of the clients uh, with the information of the client. Okay, now let's go and use a different method, which in this case is list events, list system event for getting the events for a given system. We need the key and we need to pass the system ID and we get, yeah, again, we have a list containing each one of the different actions that has been scheduled for this particular client. Okay, on this uh, next step, we are going to proceed deleting a system and also triggering the bootstrap for that same system. For this, we have this method, delete system, which needs to get a system ID. So let's just go with this one, open source one. And don't forget the key, which is needed, yeah. And we get the response from the uni server, okay. Let's just see exactly. So the system got removed from the UI, that's great. Now let's go and bootstrap that system again. In this case, the call is bootstrap, we need to pass the key. Now the FQDN of the client that we want to bootstrap, as we do when we are doing bootstrap via the web UI. Yeah, in this case, open source. Okay. Now we need to pass the SSH port and the SSH credentials that we are going to use. In this case, I'm using username and password. Now activation key, which in this case we are not using. And now true false in case that we want to set this minion as SSH minion or not as is documented on the documentation. So here we see the VMs, something is going on, server triggers some actions on the client, let's just wait. Okay, we get the response from the UI, from the API. Let's go to the UI and the system should appear. Okay, we have it here. Yeah, so that's basically it. If you want to know more, 
please visit our website and also check for other tutorials. Thank you.